Well, I know the snow hasn't quite hit the ground, but I'm sure the fever is hitting all of you. As the snow starts to pile up in the mountains, we all start thinking about getting out our old sled or think about buying a new one. Well, we've got a nice treat for you. We've got this brand new 800 Polaris Pro RMK. The Pro RMK came out just a couple years ago, and they've continually, every year, put just a little bit more improvement in it. From the belt drive system to the carbon fiber supports, there's so many cool features on this sled to make it not only lighter, but also make it stronger and more rigid. It really handles very well, and if you're used to like the older Dragons or something, you really need to get out and ride one of these new Pro RMKs because they handle so much better. You just so much just tap over onto the running board, and that pulls the skis right up. It's very easy to side hill it. Uh, it really has, they've really made some massive improvements over the old sleds. Now one of the best things that happened to the sled this year is it went on a diet. It lost 14 pounds and it comes in at 417 pounds. It's the lightest sled on the market. And the way they did that is they lightened up these new A-arms, but they're even stronger and stiffer. They've also gone to a carbon fiber subframe here, so that reduces weight and yet it's still super rigid. Now one of the coolest things that Polaris did with this sled this year is they completely redesigned the drive system. They've gotten rid of the chain case, no more oil, no more chain, none of that junk. They've gone to a rubberized belt, much like what a motorcycle uses, and that reduces weight. It also reduces your rotating mass, so it's a lot easier to handle the sled. They feel that they've taken off over five pounds of uh, inertia weight, so it's a lot easier to get it to tip up and be able to boondock with the sled. Now the other thing that Polaris has done on this 13 is they've used a, a machined extruded aluminum piece here. And so not only does it make it more rigid and more tough, but they've opened up 50% more area so that snow, as you can see, we've been out riding, doesn't stick in here at all. It stomps right out and keeps the machine light and also gives you a great foot position. Now on this Pro machine, they've, they've gotten rid of the torsion springs and gone to complete coil over shocks. So it's very adjustable. They've all also gone to a smaller idler wheel, which reduces the pressure against the high faxes, so you won't be burning those up as much. It makes a lot smoother ride. Now for the 213, they've also changed the seat a little bit. They've made it a little bit wider and a little bit shorter. Okay, and, and that aids for you being able to get your foot across the back to be able to make those quick weight changes so you don't end up in the ditch like our cameraman. The other neat thing that they've done on this is they've actually taken the kill switch and they've slid it down and put it on its own block a little further down the bars. And as we've all done before, as we've reached over the top to grab that throttle and accidentally turned off our machine, that's going to really help keep that from happening. It's just lower than the throttle block and everything else, much harder to turn it off. The other thing that they've done here on the front is they've taken this dash pod and they put a little storage compartment under here and also brought your gauge up a little bit higher so it's a little bit easier to read and see. Get into one of your local Polaris dealers and check it out. Tell them at your leisure sent you. I'm Darren Kinder. We'll see you next time.